do looks matter? And I think that most of you would agree that looks do matter. So here we have a presentation of an android as uh, it appears with a skin on. And I think the fact that it looks like a you know, young Asian woman gives it a certain social context. And I can give you an example of that. For example, when Peter Kahn from the University of Washington came with his wife, Batya Friedman, who's also a professor there, um, he didn't ask me, may I touch the android, when I was showing it to him. He asked his wife, may I touch her? Now, I don't think he would respond that way if it were a kind of robot-looking robot. Now, we can look at this video. And this is actually the same robot. The only difference is we've removed the skin, we've removed the hair and the clothing, and we can see the mechanical underpinnings. Now, the motion's the same, but doesn't it give you a different sort of experience? So, we recorded the robot, with or without its skin, making a kind of intentional action for example, reaching to pick up a cup. Now, it's well known that when humans do this, it triggers our mirror system. So there are mirror neurons in our brain that are triggered, for example, when we pick up a cup or make any kind of intentional action where we're trying to do something to achieve a goal. And when we see someone else making the same sort of action, the same neurons are, ac are active. And we found that these neurons were active in a functional magnetic resonance imaging study that was performed at UCSD by Aisha Pinar Sagan, who's now at UCL. And we also found that they were active when a robot did the same intentional action. For example, the same robot doing the same action with the skin off, but not to the same extent.